And now to a discovery made by Tel Aviv doctors that some 40% of all hospitalised COVID-19 patients have the same pattern of indirect cardiac damage. The discovery could help to understand the illness better and a senior physician at the cardiology department at Ichilov Hospital that initiated this study, Dr Yishai Zakili, joins us with more. Doctor, great to have you with us. Now, we know that your research is the first in the world to systematically describe cardiac injury in coronavirus patients. Uh, using cardiac imaging, not just a laboratory test. So what does this discovery tell us about the virus? So actually it was very interesting for us because um, at the beginning we got the, these reports from China and Europe that there is some kind of cardiac damage as part of the coronavirus disease. Um, but as you said, most of these reports were based on laboratory results that were um, indirect proof of this damage. And no one understood what really happens in the heart itself. So we initiated this study and we decided to uh, uh, perform echocardiography exam on each and every uh, patient that was hospitalized in the Tel Aviv Medical Center since the beginning of the pandemic. And uh, we actually find, found out that mm -hmm. um, the main dysfunction is not of the left heart, as we expected to find, but of the right-sided heart, the right ventricle of the heart. And it is most probably a secondary damage due to the very severe lung disease that the virus causes. Right. And so then what can, it, what can we do with this information? Can it prevent heart damage in people who contract the virus now that we know that there is a link to the, the right side of the heart being damaged? So, like always in science, the first step is to understand the mechanisms and understanding the disease and the pathophysiology of the disease helps us uh, guide the treatment or understand it better. And regarding the right side of dysfunction, it could help us understand what's going on in the lungs. Mm. Uh, we assume, as I said, that the damage is not caused directly by the virus to the right side of the heart, but... Um, a damage that is secondary to the lung disease. And if we understand that the right heart works uh, against the very high pressure of the lungs, we can assume what's going on there. Okay. Maybe there's, yeah. No, I was just going to say very briefly, because we're almost out of time. What does this mean about those perhaps who have pre-existing heart conditions? Should they take extra special care? Does this make the virus even more dangerous for them? So we found this, this finding in, in all patients, not only patients with uh, previous cardiac disease, but of course that patients with cardiac disease has, have worse prognosis in this uh, disease, but this has nothing to do with our findings. We find this, this dysfunction in mm. all patients, actually, and as I said, we can understand better the mechanisms of, the, uh, of this heat right. and try to guide our treatment towards the lungs and not particularly towards the heart. Well, an incredibly significant and important discovery. Dr. Zakeli, thank you for that insight and for the work that you're doing. You're welcome. Thank you very much.